What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to our channel, my name is Kyle. And I'm Hayley. And today we have come back out into the Peak District for a quiet walk in the woods to make a video that we've been meaning to make for a little while now. So today is our filming day and it was supposed to look a little bit different to this. Uh, you see, we had got plans to head up to North Yorkshire and film a place called Gordale Scar, which we've been trying to get up to film for a long time. We just haven't managed it yet. Uh, today is no different. Uh, the weather has ended up being incredibly changeable all the way across the country, including in the Peak District. So we've changed things up and instead we're going to give you guys a bit of behind the scenes look into how we make some of our videos and the kit that we use to do it. One of the things that is immediately noticeable now is that the colours of autumn are finally setting in. Uh, if you watched our last video, we went to Padley Gorge, which is another popular spot in the Peak District. Um, and the colours were kind of starting to change, but not all the way. Whereas now, it's the 30th of October, everything is a beautiful golden red and orange colour. So first up for what's in our bag is our Canon EOS M50 camera. Um, it was one of the first major upgrades we made to the channel and it was probably one of the biggest investments we made too. A uh, Canon M50 will set you back about 600 quid in the UK at the moment. I believe there's a Mark II out as well, which is not the one that we've got. But the main reason that we picked this up is that we did actually use to film on our phone, which was fine, um, nothing wrong with that. We used to shoot in 4K as well, which is actually better than this. But 4K video files are massive and I was very quickly running out of memory. So we wanted to pick up a decent, investable uh, camera for the channel that was gonna last a while. And so we ended up settling with this one. The thing with filming our videos on a phone was that we were very quickly outgrowing what that phone could do for us and for the channel. Um, it was quite limited with regards to the capabilities. So we wanted a nice dedicated camera for the channel that was gonna last us a few years and that's exactly what this is. Um, if there's one downside of the Canon EOS M50, it's probably its battery life. Um, it doesn't last too long. Probably lasts us about an hour or two before I need to change the battery. So as long as you've got a couple spares, you're gonna be all right. So of course, a key component of the vlogging setup is in fact the microphone. And the microphone that's currently sat on top of our camera is called uh, a Rode Video Micro. It's quite a small, compact little microphone. It's done us very well over the past couple of years and we would highly recommend it. I'll leave links in the description to this. I can't actually remember the price of it. I think it's about 50 quid. It might be a bit less than that. Um, but if you're looking for a somewhat budget microphone that's high quality for your vlogging system, We'd recommend using this one. So out of the bag, up next is our Eye in the Sky, which is our DJI Mavic Mini drone. So this little guy has been an absolute workhorse for us on this channel. All of our sort of Eye in the Sky high up establishing shots that you see, a lot of our intros, a lot of the, the wide vista shots of all these really cool and interesting places that we visit on the channel are all down to this little drone. Now one of these will set you back about £400. Uh, in my opinion it's absolutely worth every single penny. Um, not really had too many problems with it, it's fairly reliable, doesn't love the wind. Um, the later versions, uh, the Mini 2 and the Mini 3, are handle the wind far far better so if you're going to get one they're about the same price so get a newer one instead of an older one so there's been a couple bits come out of my bag so far but this one has a bag as well 
What we got? So this is probably the most important thing. Um, we've got snacks and maps. <laughs> so we can feed ourselves and know where we're going. Do you need anything else in life? Not really. <laughs> Now, while this one is uh, <laughs> filling her face, I can tell you a little bit more about uh, this drone. I'm going to show you some exclusive footage now on the channel that has never been seen, ever. Um, and it's the one time that this drone has let us down. Um, I once went to Thor's cave in the Peak District. This is a place that we've not officially been to on the channel yet beautiful little place we will go there we will give you guys the full tour as you as you well expect from our channel um, but when I went there for some reason I just didn't calibrate the drone correctly I think I calibrated it within arm's reach of metal which by the way is not something that you're supposed to do because I think it messes with the sensors a little bit um, and I was flying it very happily out above Thor's cave I'll put some footage in now um, and then all of a sudden the drone just went mental. It went absolutely erratic. I lost complete control of the drone. It just it skyrocketed way higher than I wanted to fly it. Um, and it went a bit but went a bit nuts basically uh, for a good two minutes. It did eventually sort of recalibrate and I managed to bring it back down safely. But apart from that, we've never had an issue with this drone. Um, as I said earlier, I would recommend getting a slightly newer version than what we've got, but if you want to pick up one of these drones, uh, there's links in the description to this exact one. So up next is without a doubt my favourite bit of kit for this channel. We originally bought it on a bit of a whim thinking it was going to be a bit of a gimmick um, but it's ended up becoming a staple <laughs> of every single episode that we film um, and that is of course our 360 camera. So by integrating the 360 camera into our everyday kit, um, it really changes up the viewpoints for you guys. And it goes from this handheld version to this viewpoint instead, which is more of a third person. You can see me walking in the shot and it just gives you a whole different perspective of the environment that we're in. And I think it helps better show off some of the places when we visit them. So one of the cool things about the 360 cam is that um, it edits the stick out which means we can do creative shots like this. Now the way our 360 camera works is it's got lenses on both sides, meaning that it's recording in 360 degrees at all times, which means we never miss a moment. Pack it up, just do it. What do you do for a gag? So one thing we forgot to mention is we've got a three meter stick for the 360 cab. And on days where it's too windy to fly the drone, we can use that to fake our drone shots. She's basically exposing all of our industry secrets and showing us that we're actually frauds. <laughs> we don't. Have you ever noticed the difference? I bet you there's drone shots in episodes you guys have watched and they're not actually from the drone, they're from this guy instead. Massive. Never seen that 
And that, boys and girls, is a fly agaric mushroom, is it not? Yeah. Wouldn't have known that if we didn't go mushroom hunting the other week. Now we're experts. You get it? Yeah. Now, whilst Hayley is taking a picture of the mushroom she just found, because, I don't know, I guess you're collecting them now, aren't you? I'm going to tell you about uh, another thing that we take on every single vlog with us and that is kind of like a whole information sheet that I put together before we go anywhere. Now these are, this crumpled up note is the absolute backbone of this channel because without our notes uh, when we visit these places we really would fall to bits and there's been many occasions when we've done exactly that. Um, the notes that we put together um, really just help the flow of the video and they're absolutely crucial for us to do this. Some people can just grab a camera and just sort of run and gun and get it done. Um, hey, I'm a poet. We can't quite do that yet. Um, so all the notes have lots of little sort of interesting history and facts and you know where you can park your car, when's the best time to go and then just sort of shots that we might want to take, just all the information that we might need to try and make the best video that we can for you guys. Can we just uh, stop for a minute and appreciate the fact that I've got brand new walking boots on, finally. Two years on this channel, I've worn the same janky ass boots <laughs> for like, I think like 40 quid, weren't they? Something like that. Something like that. I don't even know where I got them from. Finally invested in some half decent boots. Much needed. So up last, but by no means least, we have our additional lenses. Okay, so up first is our Nifty 50. This is our Canon 50mm lens. I think this set us back about 100 quid or so brand new, which is pretty good. Um, best way to describe this um, is it's kind of like our cinematic lens. It really blurs those backgrounds and keeps the, the subject in focus and, and sort of really crispy details come from this. Um, we don't use it all that too often, but we use it for sort of like social media pictures sometimes, portraits, um, but it has definitely earned a permanent position in our camera bag. And then finally we've got our big lens. This is our uh, 75 to 300 mil lens. Um, this again, I think was only about 100 quid or so. I ended up getting it brand new. Um, and we bought this about, yeah, it would have been about a year ago, purely to film rutting season in the Peak District. This lens is what is responsible for all those fantastic shots we got of the stags. Um, still really loved doing that video. Um, this doesn't come in useful all that often. Uh, it's a very specific user case because it's so far zoomed in. You can't really vlog with it because it, uh, <laughs> it's all over the place. Um, but still, it's good for if we ever need to get some really long shots, um, something sort of a bit far away. It's almost like a mini telescope. So if you're interested in picking one of these guys up, I'll leave links in the description below. And that's it, that's the last lens in our bag. It's got a permanent home there. Well, it got a little bit wet. Um, Just a bit. <laughs> start to rain quite a lot, so we're taking some shelter. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed that little video. Just sort of giving you a bit of a behind the scenes and sort of the kit that's in our bags that we use to make some of these videos. Also, leave a comment below if you put anything into our bags. Any suggestions? What would you put in? Waterproof camera. Yeah, GoPros. <laughs> So if you enjoyed this video, please give us a big thumbs up. And if you like the look of our faces and you want to see more content just like this from 
the wet heat district hit that little subscribe button just down there and that should guarantee that you see us in the next one so hopefully until then we'll see you in the next one bye Peace.